Okay, so I'm making a video to talk about a slight modification that I've done to my PC. So, you're looking at my PC now and you're thinking, what on earth is this? Well, um, this might be a little clue as to what it is. That's right, I've gutted out my USB floppy drive and actually fitted it inside my PC case. So now I have a working floppy drive inside my PC. So I'm just going to get this uh, floppy and just stick it in. And it actually works. In fact, it's even come up with the files on the screen there. So, uh, yeah. I actually have uh, installed this into the three and a half inch drive bay, which this 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 is a temporary thing. You know, I'm still thinking of putting a proper three and a half inch internal floppy drive in there, but this will do for now. So you may be thinking how I actually installed it. So basically, what I did was, as I said gutted out the uh, uh, internals of the USB floppy drive and just stuffed it in there. In fact, if I turn on my torch, you can see how uh, it's in there. If you can just see it in there. And believe you me, it was actually a pain in the ass to install because for one thing, I had to find the right screw to actually screw in there. So I was like digging around for ages wondering like is this the right screw and I finally found a screw that will actually fit in there. And the thing is though there's only one screw that's actually holding the thing in there which is why I have like this thing here which is uh, sort of giving it a bit more support. So yeah, I'll uh, open up my computer case and then I'll show you actually what I've done to install it. Okay, so I've opened up my PC and uh, here is the screw I was talking about earlier. This screw I actually pinched from my HP laptop so it, obviously it's only one screw so it doesn't really matter that much structurally anyway so you can see that uh, it's in there pretty nicely and uh, if we have a look inside we can see that there's a cable coming out there which is actually the cable that came with it and as you can see I've, what I've done is I've got this cable here and I've actually routed it through the PCI slots and it plugs into the back of the computer out of the uh, PCI slots and it plugs into the USB ports on the back on the motherboard I.O. So uh, yeah, that's how I've actually uh, got this floppy drive to work and if you want to do this yourself it's pretty easy providing that you can actually find a screw that fits in this. It's uh, pretty easy to install and also you might want to get something like this to uh, support it in there and uh, yeah. I guess that's all there is to say about it really. Although one thing I must say about this uh, particular Fujitsu case, I think I mentioned it in the last video I did where I sort of took off this front panel to see if obviously this thing would fit in there, but what I had to do was, if you wanted to work on these Fujitsu cases, is it, do bear in mind that before you remove this front casing, this front uh, panel, you have to remove the DVD drive first because the DVD drive actually holds together the um, front panel. It's actually what's holding the front panel in. And uh, obviously, to remove the DVD drive, you just have to undo these uh, two screws there. But yeah, it should be a lot easier when I uh, put in a proper three and a half inch floppy it should be a bit easier because hopefully it come with screws to actually screw it into the thing there so yeah I guess uh, that's
pretty much all there is to see here. So yeah, thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.